Welcome to the shop everyone. On today's video we're going to be making an oil pump priming tool for that big block 454 build we're doing. Now to make a tool to do this I'm going to use an old distributor and I'll have to modify the distributor to run that oil pump with the camshaft installed. Now the distributor itself already has the gear on the bottom and so it's the camshaft gear that drives the oil pump and the distributor. So we're going to have to modify that to where the gear doesn't engage with the cam gear. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this old distributor. And I'm going to take all the parts off of it that we won't be using to make this tool. I'll be taking that old rotor cap off. So there's the shaft and there's the old mechanical advance. Now the housing there, uh, it still has the points in it. See these old points? And also it has a vacuum advance mechanism on it. And that vacuum advance mechanism was basically when the engine was idling, it would pull your timing up and also cruising down the road at light throttle, it would advance the timing and it would uh, give you better fuel mileage. So we're going to get all that stuff off of there. Won't be needing that. Go ahead and take that vacuum canister off. So now on that shaft, it still has the mechanical advance by those weights. And so as centrifugal force would go up, those weights would sling out and also advance the timing. So we're going to do away with all that as well. Alright, now to drive that, I'm going to hook my drill up to it when I'm priming the engine. So I need to machine off the rest of that old uh, mechanical advance on there. So I'm going to take an end mill that I usually use in my milling machine and chuck it up in the lathe and use it like a drill and machine off where it looks like it is welded on the top of that shaft. Ah, there we go. Perfect. I'm just going to machine that end off a little bit and hit it with a file. Alright, so there we go. So I'm going to use a little bit of Scotch Brite to go ahead and polish everything up, just make it look nice. Good. So now I could drive it with a drill on that end, it would clamp up just fine, but I'm going to go ahead and make it a 7 16 bolt or nut head. So if I mic the shaft, I'm about 50 thousandths bigger than I need to be. So if I divide that, that's about a 25 thousandths cut off of each side of that shaft that I need to make to make it a 7 16 nut or bolt head. So I'm going to put in my collet here and tighten it down. That collet has six sides on it. Got it clamped in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my vise and I'm going to pull the quill down until it stops. I have the machine set on zero. So I'll back it away. And then I'll raise it 25 thousandths and then we'll make that cut on each side. Okay, final cut here. Ah, oh, one more, I'm sorry. There we go. So now we have our six sided nut head that the drill will clamp up onto nicely. Alright, so now that gear, I'm going to have to machine off those teeth on that gear so it will spin freely 
when I install it into the engine and not engage into the camshaft gear. So I put it on the shaft, then I'm going to stick it in my lathe and we'll machine all those teeth off. Now that sleeve there, uh, it'll go on like the outside of the old pump shaft, so it kind of keeps it concentric with the pump. It's sort of like a collar there. Alright, so that'll fit down in there now. No teeth on there, so it should spin freely. Now, the distributor housing itself, this is something you don't have to do. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna cut that outside off just because, I don't know, just so it'll fit in my toolbox easier. You know, take up less space. Just make it a little easier to store. But that's something, you don't, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it. So I'm taking off the bulk of it with the uh, bandsaw. And then we'll just chuck it up in the lathe and uh, machine it around. Alright, final cut. Go ahead and break that edge. Alright, so now we're going to make it, I don't know, look nicer. So I'm going to take it over to my buffer and I'm going to go ahead and buff it and make it I don't know, like a chrome finish on it. So I use my scotch wheel to kind of break the roughness down. And then I'll put it on my buffing wheel and buff it to, I don't know, like a chrome finish. Really gives it a nice look. Alright, so there we go. So I need a way to hold that shaft up into that old housing so it doesn't fall through. So I'm going to machine it for a retaining ring. So I'm putting some dicom on there and I'm going to assemble everything the way it should go with all the washers in place. Then I'm going to scribe a line around that top washer. So then I'll know where to machine the groove for that retaining ring. Alright, so let's get over to the lathe and machine a Screw for that retaining leg, uh, retaining ring. Checking it for size, a little bit more of a cut. Alright, there we go. So we got that part done. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and blue some of these ends. Uh, you know, like my shop's not air conditioned and in the winter time, summer, it gets kind of moist in there and just plain metal just seems to rust up. So I'm going to blue it just for somewhat of a protection. You know, uh, it doesn't seem to rust as quick as when you don't treat it with something. So I just heat it up till it's sort of a, a blue color. It's not for heat treating anything. It's just a little bit of protection. And I dip it in a little bit of oil. I've had better luck with like olive oil, but uh, the old Riley oil is just what I had laying around, so that's what we're using. Let's go ahead and blue that other end. And I just heat it up so I get a nice blue color and I just uh, quench it in that oil. And it also gives it a, I don't know, a better finished look. It looks more like a finished part to me when I do these things. All right. So everything's looking good. Let's get it all assembled here. Washer on there. Retaining ring. Holds everything in place. And there we go. We got our oil pump priming tool. Looking pretty nice there. So that's the end we'll hook up to the drill.
So some of the reasons to prime your engine before you put it in the car is, you know, to find out if your engine will even have oil pressure. Say you had it in the car and you started it up and you're running it, no oil pressure's building, and then you have to take your engine out or whatever you have to do to find out what the problem was. So if you do it in advance, you can, uh, you know, address whatever problems there are to begin with. So I just sort of mocked everything together here just to show how everything would drive. So the, if the engine had oil in it, I would just simply stick it down in there and I could have a pressure gauge on it. And if you spin it the wrong way, it won't build oil pressure. But if you spin it the right way and everything's good, you'll feel the drill slow down as the load of oil pressure goes up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, we would sure like you guys to hit that like. Uh, subscribe if you like to. Uh, ring the bell, share. And as always, we appreciate you guys so much for watching. Thanks so much.